So we're at stop number three on Mike's Beer Club. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're with Brian and Julia from Artisan Brewing and also with Josh down from Petition Beer Bar at Perth. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, great. Fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. All right. So thanks, for, so, thanks so much for uh, taking part in Mike's Beer Club, episode three. Um, it's good to be in Denmark today context where, where we are today and what we're doing we're at Boston Brewery uh, in Denmark um, where you guys share a space um, or have an ongoing relationship with Boston um, and use their brew house so tell me a little bit more about um, where that relationship started and, and when because you're, you're Denmark based yourself um, but so yeah how did that how did that come into fruition yeah thanks I think Julie would like to answer this question <laughs> It all began. No. Once upon a time. Uh, it probably goes back to, as you can probably see behind us, we have a lot of wine tanks and whatnot. And uh, Brian and I originally started Artisan Brewing as a microbrewery that was going to go into a winery, a friend's winery called Harewood, which um, we were very excited about. Got full unanimous approval from the Shire. Fantastic. And went to our dear friends at Racing Gaming and Liquor, and they got a little confused about what we were trying to do as our model trying to put a microbrewery in a winery and WA would have been the first and um, Brian and I took a back step and said geez this might be too hard for them so maybe we should look at plan B. I'm over from Esperance and kind of dropped in on you guys on the fly while you were doing some barrel aged blending so do you want to explain to uh, everyone at home what what you're up to today and what the purpose of the the blend is? It's brown. Right. Pierre Fond is brown with the Brett culture and a farmhouse red, and we're putting a special blend together for a petition with Josh here. Actually, Josh has done the uh, the special blend to have on for the Fringe Festival. And you had three barrels to select from today. You had a, a saison. You're trying to add into your uh, to your blend, and you've, you've kind of arrived at the answer that you were looking for. Uh, well, we actually had five barrels uh, to play from today, and as you can see behind us, our little measuring station with uh, 50 old glasses was to sit here and tweak and play around with and kind of see what actually uh, blended the best. The whole idea was to, to make a beer for Fringe Festival, the festival being uh, something all about people just being weird and wacky. Um, so we thought, what better place to start with? down here at Artisan Brewing. I've done quite a bit of work uh, with Brian before. Uh, Petition Beer Corner is massive supporters uh, of the brewery. We always try and have a few beers on all the time, whenever we can, so yeah. Okay, so a, cha a change of camera gear and in technology as well, and uh, we're back after a tea break. Um, before a tea break, I was talking to you, Brian, about some of the, um, the oak aging and, and the, the non-core range, or how you've kind of come to, to set up your beer, your beer styles. Over, uh, say, a year, how do you work through seasonal styles, and, 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 and do, you have, do you kind of plan months and months in advance um, for your brew days, or are you kind of throwing everything at, at the adventurous side of it? Yeah. Kind of a mixture of both. Uh, what we do is uh, when we know we want to produce a beer for a certain, uh, uh, at a certain time of the year for a season, uh, for example, last year we brewed a fest beer in July, knowing we're going to release it in Oktoberfest through December for the festive season. So, uh, so that was planned well in advance. Uh, other times we've just uh, made beers that we thought, well, let's do a little bit of an experiment. And that's where some of our beers really come surprisingly really good. But other ones are planned. Uh, for example, we did a collaboration with The Monk and uh, Celebrations Hamilton Hill on our triple treating beer, which is a Belgian triple. So it's our Diablo, as we call it, our Belgian triple, 9.4%. And then we added 20 kilos of mango and raspberry. Uh, in the secondary and bottle conditioned it uh, to come out to 10.6 percent so it was a big beer uh, and uh, it's looking really good but that was uh, took some planning in advance so that all took uh, probably eight months or so to put together that one mm -hmm. and first yeah. package beer yeah and it's our first release package beer we do some people out there are wondering about our Zen 14. Yes, we do have some of that in bottles. It'll be a secret release, so don't tell anyone. And then we have some of our Wallonia Gold, too. So some of the beers that we, we do sit on, um, 
or other beers even in kegs we don't want to release a beer before it's mature uh, and ready to be uh, ready for drinking so um, often we do brew some of the larger beers like the bigger alcohol beers like the uh, imperial flanders brown in this case this blend which is looking really good the petition fringe blend yeah this um, yeah has been uh, now almost a year in the making uh, so we'll, we'll stay with collaborations uh, for a while because you're working with Josh today you're, you're down here and traveling back up to Perth with uh, six kegs in the back of the truck or <laughs> so I think the record was fitting nine kegs in my car in the car without the trailer right <laughs> so with a driver really great with suspension <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that lovely road from Denmark. Um, so, uh, so you, you collaborations are quite a big theme for Artisan Brewing. Um, petition beer corner uh, celebrations. Uh, what 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 do you look for in a collaboration, and and who who do you like to work with? Yeah, it all depends on the style and the venue and and what they we we want to deliver to customers. So it could be a, a variation of things. Uh, we did. Uh, we've done some collaborations with other brewers just to get their input into a style. We did a wit beer with uh, Ron Frilio, um, and uh, he was excellent at, at getting his input into what uh, we wanted to make. Um, yeah, and it's so it all depends on on perhaps the season or what style of beer we want to uh, uh, to release. So your 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 background, Brian, as um, I think I'll get this right, Australia's first certified Cicerone. So how has that informed kind of setting up the brewery? Because you've, you've come from a homebrew background before artisan brewing was started commercially. Um, so for, for people who aren't familiar with, with the Cicerone certification, uh, what what has been the kind of journey if it's um, not something that you see a, a lot in, in Australia yet? Yeah, thanks. Well, 10 years after I started uh, as an amateur brewer in 91, I went ahead and went through the American Brewers Guild uh, program uh, and uh, received a diploma in brewing science. And that set a foundation for becoming a commercial brewer. Um, and that's what it, uh, we wanted to do. My wife and I migrated here in, in 2003. Um, and that was our idea, was to start up a, a microbrewery. But uh, working in the, in the energy sector, it kept me busy in a job until 2007, and um, and from there I wanted to keep enhancing my uh, my knowledge and my skills. So I became a BJCP certified judge, and then uh, it was now six years ago a certified cicerone. Um, and so learning and constant study is always something that that goes into uh, understanding and making beer. And right now a lot of my focus is on yeast because that's very important in making the beer. And uh, we're, uh, our company now imports and distributes White Labs yeast. So it's, yeah, so that's an interesting and exciting facet of the business as well. Right. Exclusive distributors for, or imp importers? Not exclusive. Not exclusive. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, the yeast, the yeast lab's going to be set up in which corner of the <laughs> brew house over here? <laughs> so, uh, so uh, Josh, how, how does that um, certification work for you guys at Petition Beer Corner? Because you're one of the main one of the key supporters for, for Julian Brian. So how does that kind of certification thing work for, for the team at Petition? Uh, yeah, well, um, all of our staff uh, are actually uh, certified beer servers mm -hmm. um, as such. And it's been a great training module um, rather than standing there telling a staff member, this beer tastes like this, it smells like this, now go and sell it. Uh, what, what it's done is it's given everyone the training and the ability to go there and uh, come up with your own description and come up with your own appreciation of a, a particular style. And especially since, like we spoke on our tea break before, that um, being asked by a customer, how many different beers have we gone through? And going through and realizing it was 594 different beers we went, wow, it's actually been really good because we don't always have the time to sit down with the staff and go, okay, I'll run you through this particular beer, um, especially on a busy Friday or Saturday night. We've tapped a beer. We, we might change five or six kegs through, throughout a, um, a service. Um, so the guys will grab a glass, 
knowing either knowing the style or just grab a glass, have a taste, have a whiff, uh, go through it and come up with their own appreciation and of of the beer. Okay. So it's been great. All right, and for in, in, into and, and for interstate uh, viewers and listeners, um, you guys are, are in Perth CBD. You've travelled down to Denmark for this collaboration with yeah. Brian and Julia. Oh, so it's just down the road. Just down the road. Yeah. Yep, I'm, I'm learning that as I travel around. Um, so I, I might finish, you guys have got a, a lot on for today. I might finish up on um, what brews that people can look forward to um, over the next little while with Gab's coming up, especially what are you sending over there? Um, and also uh, what's in your fridge when you're not drinking artisan beers? Who, 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 are, you lo- who are you looking at for, for inspiration and, and what kind of breweries both in Australia and overseas do you, do you guys follow? Um, I was particularly interested in some of the, being a Belgian um, inspired brewery or a Belgian centric brewery um, yeah what, 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 what do you guys look to yeah thanks Michael that's a good question um, a yeah saying. that's right a uh, lot of beers yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's right uh, we you shared us our secret cellar with Josh recently which has a lot of our vintage ales and so but uh, naturally we love the Belgian style so going back some ancient chimes we dug out and and many other breweries from from Belgium, uh, Belgium. But um, but also we still like hoppy beers. Uh, we we do some Belgian style IPAs. Um, there's one that uh, actually petition came up with uh, the Maas, which is a Belgian IPA with mosaic hops, and that's been going really well. Um, future beers include, yeah, like I said, this Imperial Flanders Brown or uh, uh, some other barrel blends for Gabs or some other festivals uh, and uh, some coming up in uh, Melbourne at the Ale House Project. Uh, yeah, we've got s- several things in mind, more doubles, uh, uh, triples, uh, styles like that, but augmented uh, with, uh, with either uh, interesting hops or other indigenous ingredients. We were talking about finger limes earlier, and so we like the citrus characters. Uh, we looked at lemon myrtle and saisons and things like that. So, various other ingredients just to uh, um, enhance some of the already Belgian fruit and spice characters. Okay. Great. All right. So, 2017 is shaping up to be a, a pretty uh, exciting year for for artisan. So, guys, thank you so much for taking the time out today. Josh and, and Julie and Brian, it's been uh, great chatting to you. We'll, we'll see you in Bustleton in a couple of weeks' time and around the traps. Thanks. All right. Okay. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers.